the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Welcome back to questions. The questions of today uh, is about repaying. If I give God or someone something today, am I losing that something or it's going to get back with a reward to me? The Bible is saying just spread your, your, your bread all over. So the proper time, you're going to find it. There was a youth that he used to study and work at the same time. He was studying uh, mid school and he was really working hard to finish with his education and starting a job. And he was trying to work and study at the same time. Med school is not that easy, so he was spending a lot of time and he was totally exhausted. And he had to work and then the time of exams. So he had to buy like more books than usual and he, f he spent all the money that he had. And then on his way home, he was so hungry, he was so desperate, so tired, and feeling like I can't take it one more day. I'm really exhausted. So he, an idea came to him that any house that on, on his way is going to knock and ask for something to eat. He doesn't use to beg or he, does, he didn't want any money, but he was so hungry. So he knocked on a door and after hesitation, he want to like leave or stay. He didn't use to do that. So an old lady opened from him, for him and he couldn't ask her. He was stunned. He was like a dead person. He couldn't ask for a sandwich or for something to eat. But the lady was smart and she saw the tiredness of his body, how he is tired and she felt that he may need something. She said, can I get you something to drink? So he just nodded and she, she, while she was grabbing something, she said, maybe a glass of water won't do. Maybe I'm going to just make a, a glass of milk, a warm one and just give it to him. So she went inside, she warmed a glass of milk and some water and gave it to him. So all of a sudden, like something will give him energy, so he just drank it till the last drop. And he said, thank you. And he left, he couldn't stay more or couldn't ask for more. And the time just passed and he went from one year to another till he passed all the years and being a graduate. And then he started being specialized in a certain disease and he became like a professor and he started remembering those days. Till one day when he was in the hospital and he was called to see a patient. And he went into the room and he looked at the patients, he couldn't recognize her, but he found in the sheet the same name that it was written on the door many, many, many years ago that when he was broke and he needed just something to eat or drink and he gave him this warm glass of milk. And he said, that's my time. I'm gonna just repay back. And he started taking extra care to that lady and spend more time than required. And because he was specialized in this kind of disease, he just did his best to make her, make her feel better. And then she was healed and she was so happy. She wanted to thank him, but at the same time, she couldn't resist being scared because of the long bill that she, she had to pay. And at that time she was a senior. She didn't have much to handle or to pay the bill. So she was happy and she asked him to come to thank him in person. So he came and just th told her his best, best wishes and he left without saying anything. And then the bell, the bill came, the invoice. So she was scared and when she just 
rolled her eyes to the bottom of the, the invoice, she found a big number. And she was scared, but she noticed one thing at the side of the invoice. It was saying, paid in full for a warm glass of milk. And she didn't understand. She said, she called the accountant, she said, what's going on? He told her, the doctor came, he was taking extra care for you. We thought that he's gonna ask for more money, but he came and paid everything and he wrote that note. I, we, we don't understand what's going on. So she called him again and she said, what's going on? Why, how come you're paying for my bill and you're taking, you're taking extra measures to help me out? And he reminded her of that one glass of milk. She was in tears and she knew that God's promises will never go in vain. God's promises are true. If you give today, you're gonna get tomorrow. That's his promise. Because you're not giving to a man or to a person, you're giving to him himself, who said, you're taking care of my brothers, my brethren, you're doing this to me. I hope you all enjoy giving so we can get the heavenly blessings. Glory be to God forever.